G&L musical instruments are the ultimate evolution of the designs of Clarence Leo Fender. These spectacular instruments are still built today on Fender Avenue in Fullerton, California, with skill, passion, and a reverent respect for their place in the history of electric guitars and basses. This is the story of G&L musical instruments and how they're made, just as Leo would have wanted. Fine musical instruments start with premium tone woods. Ash, alder, mahogany, maple, rosewood, and other woods are precious commodities in today's market. Sourcing woods of the highest quality for the crafting of G&L instruments is an ongoing challenge. Despite the ever-present temptation to use lesser quality wood or more easily available substitutes, G&L always insists on the very finest tone woods, just as Leo would have demanded. Only the finest blanks are selected and passed along to the shaping department to be made into G&L necks and bodies. Only the most stable and beautiful woods graduate from curing to the wood shop. This is where blanks of fine tone woods are carefully shaped into necks and bodies for G&L instruments. The straightest and most stable hard rock maple is carved to exacting specifications with state-of-the-art computer-controlled CNC technology, yet the elements critical to feel and playability are still performed by the hands of experienced craftsmen. For example, G&L craftsmen use hand tools to carefully articulate the graduation from the headstock to the back shape, as well as the comfortable rolled fingerboard edges. In essence, G&L has blended the finest technology with the finest hand craftsmanship, assuring that critical dimensions remain precise and consistent while the silky, broken-in feel of a handmade instrument is artfully fine-tuned. Contemporary, two-piece, non-compression truss rods are inserted into carefully designed CNC-cut channels before fingerboards are attached. Rosewood, maple, and ebony fingerboards are cut, planed, and pressure glued to each neck and allowed to set thoroughly before the neck is shaped. Necks are then shaped, refining the delicate contours and fingerboard edges and ensuring that each neck conforms to G&L's specifications for comfort and playability. Finally, a nut blank is inserted and the neck is ready to move on to the fret shop. Bodies, too, are precision carved, one by one, to G&L's exacting specifications. Every detail can be controlled, refined, and adjusted as needed to ensure each G&L instrument is measurably perfect. Every G&L instrument is hand sanded to perfection in preparation for the G&L painting and finishing process. As bodies head off to the paint and finishing department, next go to the fret shop. In the fret shop, each fingerboard is precision cut with fret slots using a right angle head attached to a CNC machine, then hand pressed with extreme care into each fingerboard. Fret tangs are then clipped off and the neck is manually sanded to our exacting shape and contours. Now the necks are ready to be reunited with the bodies in the paint and finishing department. At GNL, we take great pride in the jewel-like quality of our finishes. Our necks and bodies are carefully prepared to ensure the most lustrous results from our traditional hand-sprayed paints and finishes. To reduce the possibility of contamination flaws, the paint shop environment has to be sealed and isolated from the dust of the nearby shaping department. After yet another visual inspection, each neck and body is mounted to a painting handle and sprayed with clear seal to prepare them for painting. After drying, they're delicately sanded again before being sprayed with one of our standard or premier finishes or for necks, our satin or gloss finishes. All body finishes are sprayed with a clear top coat. The necks and bodies are then allowed to dry before being moved to the polish department. 
Polishing is a demanding and difficult process, but it's the critical step in creating a fine finish. It takes patience, practice, and strong hands with an artisan's feel. Power sanders give way to hand sanding with fine grit, wet dry sandpaper, then power buffers give way to hand polishing. These intensive procedures are why GNL instruments like Rolls Royce and Ferrari cars have finishes which appear as smooth as glass. Leo designed many famous pickups for guitars and basses as well as many more he never put into production. He mapped out all the intricate tonal variations of magnets, pole pieces, wire, winding, and interconnection. He then sought out the opinions of players to evaluate his prototypes and further revise his designs. Leo viewed his crowning achievement in pickup technology as the GNL magnetic field design pickups used on most GNL instruments today. To this day, GNL continues to manufacture these unique pickups in-house some just as Leo had last specified them, while others have been refined by the capable hands and ears of GNL engineers, just as Leo would have expected. GNL also recognized that many musicians preferred a vintage tone, so like their modern MFD counterparts, GNL also makes superb vintage Elmico 5 pickups. Assembly begins with the fine tuning of each neck. To do this, we use a precision measuring and fret leveling and crowning device called a Plec. The Plec is an expensive and incredible machine from Germany, and it has the ability to analyze and map the minute contours of each playing surface, including the frets, fingerboard, and even the nut blank. This provides detailed information about the adjustment of the truss rod to achieve the desired contour and overall playability of every neck. Once the initial truss rod adjustments are made, the neck is analyzed by the Plec again to map its new contours. If it checks out, the Plec begins its machining process. First, every fret is machined to the ideal height and crowned. Then, the string slots are cut to precisely the right width and depth for the specified string gauges. Incredibly, because the Plec has measured the exact width of the neck at the nut, it mathematically computes the optimized string spacing for every neck. In short, the Plec assures the ultimate potential playability for every neck. Once the frets and nut are cut, the Plec performs a final analysis to confirm each operation is successful and only then is the neck ready for hand finishing of the frets. Once again, cutting edge technology is blended with traditional craftsmanship, as the experienced hands and eyes of GNL craftsmen ensure that the frets are smooth, the fret ends are comfortably shaped, and the appearance is appealing. The neck is now ready to be attached to the body. Necks and bodies are precision cut and carefully finished to ensure that the critical neck body intersection is tight, stable, and clean. Once the neck is securely and precisely mounted to the instrument, hardware and electronics are added. Leo worked long and hard in response to feedback musicians gave him about his bridge designs. They wanted increased sustain, decreased occurrences of string breakage, and smooth vibratos with improved tuning stability. This led to several patented innovations that provide significant improvement over his earlier designs. His dual fulcrum vibrato and saddle lock bridges answered the needs of musicians, while clearly embodying Leo's preference for simple and elegant engineering. Once the bridges and other hardware are added to the joined necks and bodies, each instrument is then ready for the installation of electronics. Electronics are installed into the pick guards of instruments such as the Comanche guitar and the SB2 bass, or directly into the body of other instruments such as the L2000 bass or Invader guitar. Certain models, such as the Legacy Deluxe, employ rear-mounted controls to eliminate the pickguard, allowing more of the beautiful premium tone woods to be visible.
Yet another inspection ensures each instrument is perfect and ready for setup. Setup includes final truss rod adjustments, bridge adjustments for string height and intonation, and pickup adjustment for even tone and loudness across the strings. The last step is the all-important testing of the instrument and something we enjoy doing a lot of at GNL. Every instrument is plugged in, tuned, every knob is turned, and every switch is flicked again and again to make absolutely certain that every instrument functions perfectly. And just like a Ferrari is run through its paces by experienced, passionate drivers on the Fiorano test track, every GNL is played with passion for several minutes before it's declared complete. We affectionately call this the moment a GNL instrument is born. Before it's shipped, every GNL instrument is inspected, polished, certified, and of course, played some more, just to be sure it's an incredible instrument. At GNL, we go to such pains to make beautiful instruments that we take extra care to make sure they arrive to your dealer and then to you in pristine condition. Every GNL instrument is intended to deliver a lifetime of musical pleasure to you and the audiences you play for. Leo believed musicians were emissaries of God and that it was his calling to provide them with instruments to deliver inspired art. To find out more about GNL, our history, and our instruments, look for us on the web at glguitars.com, or better yet, visit your local GNL dealer and experience the art of fine instrument making for yourself.